So it was the fall of 2011. I was back in Colorado. I wanted to finish off a project in Guanella Pass I had been working this spring before. And I was super motivated to finish that thing off and then get into the Estes Park region and put up some new problems in an area I always wanted to explore. And it was incredible what we found. Just a ton of projects surrounded by elk. Thus, Elk Land was born. And we started exploring a little bit more in some other low-lying regions of the park. We discovered Mirror Reality. We also found a project that is now known as the Bridge of Ashes. I never tried it much because it was always too hot. I had a couple good days in when I got to try the moves, and I could never figure out one transition in between the first half of the boulder problem and the second half of the boulder problem. After finding Memories Parallax and Mind to Motion and Mirror Reality, I had to make a travel to China for the Petzl Rock trip, which was a pretty crazy experience. It was an amazing trip, but it was definitely very taxing. Lots of new things. I got back from China, and then I went directly to Memories Parallax, and then I went to the Red River Gorge for a month, and it rained, it was a bust. I returned specifically to climb the problem that is Memories Parallax. Colorado winter was setting in, and weather wasn't perfect, so it seemed like a good time to climb one project and move forward. Yes! After sending yes! Memories Parallax, I was off to Waco with Cameron, which was awesome. I wanted to do a bunch of problems that always challenged me and hadn't been to Waco for a long period of time. So I was pretty psyched to find some new stuff. About three weeks into the trip, I blew my knee out. Um, tore my MCL, not right. completely, no. but definitely damaged myself severely and had to recover. So I left Waco after climbing a bunch of my problems there and healing my knee up pretty good and came back to Colorado with a lot of motivation to find something new. Thus, I quested into my backyard and started looking on my road, the peak to peak. I found some roadside stuff that was cool, but I also found a huge area called Wild Basin. So I delved into the Wild Basin experience and I also delved into Paint It Black. After establishing a bunch of awesome problems in the basin, notably Dead Meadow, The Gray, and a whole bunch of other great highballs, I had to fly to Australia, where I spent two months developing problems with Nali Hukatival and Ian Dory, and it was amazing. Then I moved forward to South Africa for two months with Nale, Cameron, and my buddy Chad. After four months of traveling in the Southern Hemisphere, I made a quick trip to Norway, where I did a teeny bit of bouldering. So I came back to the States, got psyched on white noise, projected that, went to Wyoming, sent a really cool hard route called Moonshine, and then came back to Colorado. I started to try Jade and Upper Chaos, however, I was immediately shut down by the weather and turned my sights to finishing off some old projects. I started trying Hypnotize Minds and Mind to Motion and continued battling with Mirror Reality. Get it. Oh. I injured my pinky one day training with a grip master at my house. Mind to motion and mere reality got a lot more difficult. I somehow battled through and climbed mind to motion with my injured pinky, but mere reality wouldn't succumb. Thus, I flew to Argentina for yet another rock trip in the middle of nowhere, and I was sick. After Argentina, the weather was awful. I wanted to try the Bridge of Ashes project, however my pinky was too injured. I went out a couple days to see how it felt, and it felt awful. Feeling kind of bored with Colorado, I decided to take a trip to Las Vegas to try a problem I'd always wanted to attempt, Meadowlark Lemon. I sent Meadowlark Lemon, and that was cool, and that gave me a lot of motivation to go back to Colorado in hopes of cold air. I spent some time up in Elkland solo working out the moves and building the landing. I got everything figured out and the big breakthrough was that I figured out the transition. I would always been using the wrong hold and I decided that I should try using a hold below it and it kind of unlocked the entire problem. From that point on, I was pretty confident that I could do it as I could do the moves on the ending and focused in and got psyched to do the stand start, which felt around 8B. But a snowstorm came, and I was forced to go skiing, and had a really good time. I went back up to Elkland, I recruited some friends, Krayshawn, Cameron, we went up there, tried to get the thing done. Come on. 
Stick with it. Except I couldn't do it. It was frustrating. Everything is the conditions sucked. Ripping, cutting. This felt shit. Thus, it was time to wait. Oh my god! I came back the next day with Cameron, and the arrival of a big Colorado winter storm. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, come on. No! It's too sweaty. Yeah. I felt really fucking good in that position. rewarding to actually send that problem considering all of the travel all of the other problems that are around and all of the weather that one has to deal with when trying to develop problems in Colorado yes oh, my fucking god okay don't Keep fall. Feet. don't fall. yes oh my god yes I just did the boulder. That's crazy. It's like surreal. I know. I can't believe it. I was like in the moment and I was like, you're just gonna fall. And I looked up and I was like, there's no way. And then from doing the move like a hundred times, of course just like stuck it and then like got my foot out and I was all pumped and I was like, I'll never stick the drop by drive by. I was just like, blah!